Giving people second chances is a really tricky business. If someone has hurt you, there's no way to know for sure whether or not they're gonna hurt you again. I mean, everyone makes mistakes. It's the nature of humanity, but at the same time, it takes a tremendous amount of faith in a person to trust them not to hurt you again. And if you're on the other end of this, the trust and forgiveness that's been given to you needs to be taken seriously. On that note, the most important and powerful kind of second chances we can receive are the ones that we give to ourselves when we fail, when we Fall. In 2011, I started college at a place I was really excited about. I had all these dreams about what I would do there and where it would take me, but when I got there, I, I failed. I failed miserably. I ended up dropping out and coming back home. That was two years ago, and for the longest time, I didn't think I was ever going to get back to school. I didn't want to try again because I was terrified of ending up where I was the first time around. I had failed, and I didn't think that I deserved a second chance. But eventually, I allowed myself one. Today I got an acceptance letter from my top choice four-year university. I have found something that I love doing, that I'm good at, and for the first time in years when I think about future me, she seems like she's doing pretty well. I wonder if she has a hoverboard. There were so many times over the past couple of years that I thought that this would never happen. When I started going back to school, I expected myself to fail. I kept looking for ways that it might happen, but I made it through. I'm really proud of myself. I'm very strong in my belief that everyone deserves a second chance, and if other people won't give them to us, it's our job to give it to ourselves. Whether it's going back to school, or trying a route other than school, or getting a new job, starting a new project, you deserve to let yourself try again. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna get crafty today. Were you ever wondering how you could possibly make lipstick out of Crayola crayons? I hope you were, because you're about to learn it now. You're gonna need coconut oil.